My name's Angela Neal and I was involved originally when we set the playground up. I worked for the Children's Society at the time and we were charged with finding somewhere by the young people because they'd been to Tiverton Adventure Playground and they said we want one of those. Before it was here there, was, there were a lot of factions around because there's a, a real mix of housing, there's private housing, council housing. What I would say I've noticed over the years, particularly in the early days, was that it brought people together, not only the children but their families too, so that it gave a commonality to the community which they didn't have before. They would come and help to clear the land. I mean, we found old beds and there was an old boat and an old car, but all the community got stuck in and uh, some would bring food down and drinks and other, you know, there were whole families helping from around the area, which was really lovely. Yes! My name's Chris Lomas, I'm a local Brixham town councillor. Um, been living down here for 30 odd years now. There's not much for the kids up this end of Brixham. So a facility like this where kids can play and run wild, chasing around in these woods, uh, using the rope slides, sliding down the pipes, making dens, making fires. It's a brilliant place. Kids absolutely love it. I'll tell you something we've noticed as well, a tremendous fall off in vandalism since this place has been open because the kids have got something to do, they feel at home in this place and if it went it would be a tremendous blow to the community. Um, parents get involved as well, volunteers get involved, it's not just the kids, it's all the adults that come along, give their time to help, play tour bays, done a fantastic amount of work here, awful lot of work gone into it. My name is Tracy Jane. I have a daughter called Catherine Jane. I'm a single parent. I started at Indigo's as a volunteer because I don't have a garden of my own. So I bought her here to be with other children and to learn um, forestry skills, socialise, and generally just play freely with lots of children. I don't like sitting around, so I ended up being a volunteer and getting involved with playing with the children. I like being a volunteer here because you do get to see lots of children, lots of different ages, you learn different skills, other people can teach you skills, you can then pass them on. The children generally have a great time playing here and you, you know that it's safe here. The children do what they want and they can build dens, they can use their imagination. We're making a mud slide and we made it all muddy and we put some water on it and we put um, a snake on it so when Janet pulls us down we actually slide on our bottoms. Two, three. You, well, you don't have to pay, obviously, but it's basically, it's not the, it's not the members of, it's not the staff's place, it's actually basically our place. We love Indigo's Playground! My name's Glenn Page and I'm head at Chestnut Primary School, which is uh, adjacent to Indigo's, and a long time ago we, we actually found that the Indigo's land actually wasn't no man's land, it belonged to the school. And uh, it just so happened that by, by pure accident, Angela and Janet came and asked uh, my views on a project about using a part of school land. And I just found out that this plot was actually belonged to the school. And the rest was history. You know, the, the place has absolutely been a fantastic sort of coincidence of wants. So it's, it's gone from strength to strength. I think it's absolutely vital that children have a safe place in which to play and by means of play, it's not just play football, to actually role play, to build things, to, to you know, use their imagination. And I just think this is a fantastic opportunity for children round here. Uh, it's like it's got loads of areas, it's got like mini huts and it's got lots of trees. Yeah, and it's really cool because there's loads of hideouts. I've just got another tool my gun! If you're in Indigo, you get to do like paint, like face painting or art, or you can just make them like in the trees. Well, it's a friendly place to be to. There's a lot of friends for you to play with, 
and uh, there are quite a few hot dogs at the end of the day. Well, I'm just painting my hands. <laughs> Council Mike Morey, Torbay Council, children's champion for an enjoy and achieve. Sometimes I think perhaps adults fail to remember what it's like to actually play. Uh, and play is an important part of the child's development. Here in Brixham in particular, there are isolated pockets. People like these guys create that atmosphere which brings in the children. This helps them not only to interrelate, but also in the longer term to learn to enjoy themselves, and that's what it's all about. Um, pillowy seat on top because some people are getting some people are getting their trousers too dirty. Really? Yeah.